Hey everybody, Rachel here from reachthestamber.com and I'm going to share my one sheet wonder number three today with you, which is going to be Valentine's themed if you didn't notice. And I have a few tricks for a couple of these things that I'm going to share with you um, with kind of maximizing your paper usage and also with just some different interchangeable uh, cool things that I found as I went along. Now I did not add the sentiments to any of these so I do have to actually add the sentiments but we came up with this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cards for this one. So I will post the One Sheet Wonder um, sheet on here. I will do a template like I've done in the past and load it. So all you have to do is go to my blog which is reachthestamper.com and you'll be able to see that there. I did already pre-cut um, all of the paper for this and the reason that this is super simple is there are some really great cardstock packs which come with three colors. Um, this one is Lovely Lipstick, Flirty Flamingo, and Crumb Cake and it comes with these three colors so I just kind of cut myself a bunch of bases. And then what I use to create all these cute little friends is the Hey Love stamp set. This is um, in the Occasions catalog. So we're going to use a couple of these sentiments, but I also have a couple other things I pulled out just in case. So I want to share those with you. So you could also use um, the this little piggy, and instead of loves you, you could just ink up just love you, and then you could put one of those little epoxy hearts there. Maybe you could color it red or pink with your um, Stampin' Blends. You also could use from the holiday catalog labels to love this really cute love right here. Also, sometimes we send Valentine's to our friends, so we have wood words. So we could use hello friend. Kind of thought along the same thing with this one. You could do thanks friend, or on the inside you could put love never gives up. And this is from the waterfront stamp set. This is an awesome stamp set if you don't have it, by the way. Um, another oldie but goodie for thoughtful banners. You could put hello love. That would be a cute one. Or I love you. Either one. And then we have itty bitty greetings. So for that one we could put I miss you. Or we could do sent with love. Um, lots of cute other things in here. Showered with love. Kind of depending on what you want to send. And then last but not least another oldie but a goodie. Love is in the air. Which is a great one. This is from the lift me up stamp set. This actually also has a coordinating die to cut out these hot air balloons. So we're going to use a variety of these. And then one other thing I wanted to show you, when I trim down my paper to make layers, so my whisper white paper, I always end up with these little strips left. So depending on how you cut your paper, I have long ones and I have short ones. So I have a bunch of these out to add sentiments to. And then one final thing, I just have some scraps and these are what I punched all of these um little guys out of. I stamped the I stamped some of these as you can see. I stamped them on and then I colored them in with various Stampin' Blends and then I punched them out or I die cut most of them with um, the layering ovals or the layering circles or the rectangles. So some of them you'll see I didn't do such a great job of lining up like this one was right on the edge but I wasn't going to get rid of it for that little teeny notch. But um, maybe space them out a little bit more. Unlike me, this one, what I ended up doing <clears throat> with this guy, as you can see, it's way off. I ended up re, um, cutting the rectangle and I did a partial die cut just so I could get a smaller cut for him. And then, um, I do have a piece of the, um, oh my goodness, I just forgot the name of it, Flirty Flamingo that I used for some of the background pieces. And then I also used black as well, just to give like a little bit of, um, more of a dynamic contrast between the two. And then one other thing I wanted to share was that I did on this one here. So you can see I have this little uh, cute little alligator. But I had this stitched rectangle. But I really was just going to cover this part up. So I figured I might as well cut a smaller one. So I just cut a smaller stitched rectangle. And the cool thing about the rectangles is it does both sides. So it stitches on the in and the outside, which is really nice. So then I can just lay this little dude right on top of it. So a couple of these you'll see, I did leave room to add a little tiny sentiment. I did that with the bird as well. And then same thing with the uh, alligator here or crocodile, whichever the case may be. So I kind of left a little spot here where I can stamp something if I want. So let's get started. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to share the cut marks with you. <clears throat> now one thing I'm going to tell you is though, mine are a little bit different because I ended up turning my page 90 degrees because I wanted the hearts to cut a certain way. So everything kind of cuts a little different than how it appears on here. 
So just make sure that if you if you have a design, just kind of look at it before you lay it down to decide which way you want to cut it, okay? And the cool thing about this Valentine's paper is you could use both sides, but I just used the one side. So what you're going to do is we're going to do our first cut, and I'm going to lay these down here just so I have them in order. Lay all my little friends down here. Most of the thing I did was I kind of went up a size with the framelit if I cut it out. Um, I did have one here earlier and I, I accidentally cut this to the exact same size. That was total whipsy. So we could just kind of layer this like that instead of um, cutting another one. You could also just cut a frame, which I think I might have thrown that in the garbage. But I ended up cutting out the next frame up so it just gave a little sliver. So you could just lay that around if you wanted to. But we're just going to kind of stack these for this one. So your first cut is going to be at four inches. Okay, so I have uh, four, four by five and a quarter, four by five and a quarter, and then four by one and a half. So those will be the first three cards. And I kind of um, also got to the point where you could cut this one if you wanted to. So this one is four by five and a quarter. So if you actually wanted to, you could make 14 cards out of this. You could cut this in half at the two inch mark and then you could have two. So we could do that later because the little guys that I picked are um, a little smaller so I'm not sure where I'm gonna go with that one quite yet but then again this was the last one this was four by one and a half all right and then the next cut is I believe two and three quarters okay so this one I kind of cut when I cut them I laid them a little bit backwards so this one is gonna be two and three quarters by two and a half and then we have two and three quarters by five which is gonna be this one two and three quarters by five and then two and three quarters by four and a half. All right, now we have our fourth row, which is going to be three and a quarter, okay? So this first one is three and a quarter by four. <clears throat> three and a quarter by three and a half. And then, which way did I go with this? Three and a quarter by three and a quarter it's in there right so three and a quarter by three and a quarter and then finally three and a quarter by one and a quarter and then I just have just this little cute guy so this could go this way it just kind of depends on how we want to lay it but we'll figure that out and then finally <coughs> pardon me I still have this horrible cough what's left so this kind of is like a negligible it should be two inches so we have three pieces that are going to be two by four so two by four two by four and two by four, okay? So again, you can kind of, um, you can see how I did this a little bit differently. So originally with this one, I thought you could split it if you wanted to. So you could have a two by five and a quarter, two by five and a quarter, but, so this is the lay piece, but I will post this all into the blog. And what I might do is I may go back, depending on if I do cut this in half or not, I may go back and make another updated version and this could be a 14 card one sheet wonder. So that's pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of stuff that you can get done with that. So what we're going to do first, and like with a couple of these, I had cut out this um, this black piece. So it's a stitched rectangle, if you can see that. You can see the stitching lines. And it was a little too narrow, but instead of wasting, I thought, well, I can kind of frame it. So I can frame it so it is like evenly spaced on both sides. So that was what my plan was for that. So I'm going to just go ahead and grab my snail. And you could also pop this up on um, dimensionals if you wanted to. So I'm gonna just kind of eyeball this. This one was cut slightly imperfect, so I kind of figured if you layered it on there, you really wouldn't notice very much. Okay, so I'm gonna put that together. I'm not gonna assemble these exactly yet. Um, this one, I cut one of the uh, layers for this out of the center. So again, instead of covering up a circle, I just cut out another layer that I could use for something else. So this one, you're going to want to make sure that you're a little careful with your uh, snail. That way it doesn't stick to everything else in the meantime of you getting it hooked up. So I'm going to put my alligator on here. Set him up here. This one has three layers. So just a very fine little layer there. And then it has a little bit more of an edge, but I thought these were really cute <clears throat> to be able to do that way. So same thing with this one, just a tiny little layer. This one's a little bit smaller. I probably used uh, a punch for this little one here. 
This one was kind of close with this, so I ended up adding the black piece in the background because I thought it just gave it a little bit more dimension since it was so kind of tightly layered there. And again, if you wanted to, you could also put dimensionals on these instead if you wanted to give a little bit more depth to them. And then I added in just a few squares. So I used the stitch squares and the circles and the ovals. And then I just cut um, a piece of black cardstock just a quarter of an inch bigger. I will tell you though, if you're going to do any stamping on here on any of these, um, you may want to do it before you finally assemble it just in case you have to cover it up. So for example, when we do this one, I should have stamped the little words here, but I'm going to... um. I'm going to set this one on the side because this one we're going to stamp prior to just stamping something and adding it. Okay, another one with three layers. Again, just because I had such a tight layer there, I kind of thought adding another color component would just give it a little more pop. So... This is the one where I kind of goofed and cut it exactly. So this one I'm going to kind of just shadow off. So I'm only going to put um, adhesive on half. Kind of just line that up how I want it. Just like that. You can shadow at the top or the bottom. Either one's fine. Um, and some of these I also colored in with watercolor pencils. And then I went back after the fact and added some blends to them as well. So you can use those interchangeably. Um, these two I'm not sure. This is the one which could be the, the two inch by five and a quarter. So I'm going to mount both of these, even though I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. And believe it or not, this black piece here actually had a fold, if you can see those folds in it. But I figured once you cover it up, you can't see it. So this was, again, like another kind of scrap piece I wasn't sure what to do with. And then again, this one we're going to have to be very careful with. So I'm going to just put um, a little bit of adhesive because I don't want it to be too close to that edge since it's showing. Okay, quite honestly with this piece I probably could have waited to put this together once I actually put it onto the card. I layer this on. But if you ever get um, adhesive, so there's some here, you can kind of do one of two things. If your fingers are clean, you can rub your finger back and forth on it and it'll kind of ball up and come off. Um, another idea is you could use um, an eraser. Let's see, hopefully this won't ruin it. You do want to make sure your eraser is clean though. You kind of rub that and then if you get any bits that are stuck you kind of rub your your sand part of your eraser and it'll just get those right off. You can do that on this side as well. But for the most part, like I said, just kind of rubbing your finger. Just make sure that your fingers aren't really inky because then you're just going to leave a big smudge. Okay, oops, a little bit more on here. And this sand eraser, the sand end of the eraser, I actually got this on um, Amazon, I believe, is really good if you kind of drop something accidentally onto your uh, card and you can you want to erase it. You just have to be really careful because it does actually sand away the paper, so you can't do it too much. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put some of our sentiments on here. So for the first one, I'm going to do the labels to love. And I'm going to use the love. So just in case you miss this, I'm going to show you how you can retrofit your old cling stamps with a little bit of the new, um, oh my gosh, I just totally, well, this doesn't match up. Well, if you ever notice that, this is very close to the edge here. So you could trim this if you wanted to. And since it is a little bit off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this. However, if you notice this, you can certainly call demo support or your demonstrator. And they will absolutely send you out another stamp set. So you don't have to do this trimming part, but I'm kind of glad I opened this up. You do, um, you can either call demo support if you're a demonstrator or if you're a customer, you just call your demonstrator and they will certainly take care of that for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to offset this. OK, 
pick this up and I'm going to trim this. I'm guessing just sometimes, I guess, in the uh, printing process, the rubber stamps aren't 100% where they're supposed to be. So, but I have, I have tell you, I have lately, especially, I've spoken to demo support about a few things for a few different customers. I have not had one problem with them telling me, oh, sorry, we can't fix that. Every single issue I've dealt with, which one of them, um, ironically, was two years old, and they still replaced the item. It was actually a punch. No questions asked. Luckily, they still had it in stock, but okay. So now you see we put our love on here, but if you remember, these are the uh, old cling mount stamps and they don't really stick very well. So what I'm going to do when I have my new super duper sticky cling pieces, so this is just something extra that I have left. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> what I've been doing is retrofitting. So what I do is I go in, you don't need a lot, you just need a little piece, but I will recommend before you go to cut your next piece, kind of want to make sure you can get your, your lifting apart here. Sometimes this is probably the hardest part. Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to cut this, just a small piece. Again, this is probably, honestly, this is probably quite big. So really we can go with half of one of these. Okay, so what you want to do, I'm going to cut this off so I can show you, because you do want to make sure that you put the correct side down or it's not going to stick anyway. So when you would apply these stickers, okay, these are the stickers that come with the new, um, oh my gosh, they're not cling mount. I can't think what they're called right now, but anyway, these are the old ones. These were clear mount. Clear mount, this is cling mount, so there's the difference. So what you do is when you saw, you would peel off the back just like the old other stickers look like and then you would put your sticker down. So you want to do the same thing, okay? So this top little piece here, this is what you want to lift off. And again, because it doesn't have a split in it, it is a little more work just to get it started, but <clears throat> well worth it. Let's see if I can get my fingernail under there. Because you want to make sure that you mount it down. Should I have one of these ready to go? I'm sorry. It's taking a minute. You kind of put your fingers in between. You put one fingernail down. This is what I do anyway. I put one fingernail down to kind of hold the sticky part down. And then I peel off the um, release paper. Okay, so you can see, I don't know if you can see on there. But you can see that one part is sticky. So then what I'm going to do very carefully I'm going to remove my finger I'm going to take this so this is the stamp that doesn't stick and I'm going to just stick it down and press it really hard and then I'm going to peel off that release paper okay and then if you can see on there there's a little square right there so that is the new cling mount okay so if I you do this look at that doesn't come off so really easy so good note to use when you have taken your labels off of your new cling mount stamps just keep the rest of the label set it on the side and then you can go back if you'd like and retrofit some of your stamps okay so what I'm gonna do is for this one I'm gonna color this with black and then I'm gonna color the heart with um, real red mm, actually not real red since this isn't real red I'm gonna use lovely lipstick so I'll use, and I'm going to use gray too. <clears throat> I'm going to use basic gray. I'm just going to color these in. And what I'm going to do, since I already have this assembled, is I'm just going to test it on a piece of scrap paper just to make sure I like it. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with this. Just stick that. So there's all the stuff colored. And I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna huff on it. So you're gonna exhale. So you're gonna do Darth Vader. And then you're gonna stamp it. So there you go. You see that'll look really pretty. It'll be soft. So if you want, you can go ahead and take your chamois and kind of clean that off before you start again. Okay, and I'm just gonna make sure since I wiggled this around, I'm just gonna press it, make sure it's on there. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. So I'm going to go ahead and do my heart. So I'm just using my marker. And this is a great way to add multiple colors if you wanted. And then I'm going to use my basic gray. And 
and fill in the color just like that okay and then again I'm gonna exhale I'm just gonna stamp this right here cute so there you go really easy okay so that was one and then this will be extra sticky so if I ever want to use it again all you have to do is I'm gonna stick this in here since it's a little bit trimmed it's gonna be loose in there anyway but so that's how you can retrofit your stamps so a couple more of these let's see I have a few of these little strips so a few of these let's see we have hello friend so that's a good one so I'm gonna grab my lovely lips lipstick stamp pad Stamp one of those. I'm gonna stamp one more because we can trim these out. Okay, so there's that. And let's see what else do we have here. Oh, this is a good one. Thoughtful banners. I'm gonna use Hello Love. So I have Love and Hello. And I kind of like the fact that these are scripty. I think it makes them look fun. So I'm gonna just kind of line these up together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp them apart. So I have one at the bottom. Since these are photopolymer, you can see through them. So they'll be really easy to line up. And I'm going to grab my little scrap here. So I'm going to put hello. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my love. Oops. There you go. Not so bad for lining them up. Kind of half halfway paying attention. So I have those there. I want to use those again. Again, that was from Thoughtful Banners. And then we have, of course, we could put I Miss You. This is a really cute one. And then we have Scent with Love. So I'm going to just put both of those on. Same thing. I'm going to stick with the same color. There's I Miss You. And then on the other side, I think I already put the sticker on this. Oops. But I didn't put the, uh, the cling mount on there. So I'm going to put this on the other side, Scent with Love. <coughs> Excuse me. Those are both from Itty Bitty Greetings. We can do a cute one here with Love is in the Air. And this one, I do have a couple pieces that are a little bit bigger. So I'm going to use these since this has that little scripty part. Just make sure this is lined up nicely. Love is in the air. Really cute. And that was again from Lift Me Up. So let me move these over. And then I have this one too. I want to show you what I meant with the Love You. This is kind of similar to what we did with the other stamp. So what we're going to do... Geez, I haven't even used that one before. Is we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to pick this up. Okay, just like that. Let me close this ink pad so I don't have a disaster. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to color in the love. L-O-V-E. Again, I'm not coloring that S. And I usually color the light color first. Because that way, whatever you're coloring the dark with, you can kind of cover up if you did like a little whoopsie. And then you... Okay, and then once again, same thing, just huff. So, super cute. And that one, actually, we could do on this. So, since I have this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this one more time. So, I'm just coloring in the L-O-V-E. And then I'm going to color in the U. Perfect. I got just a teeny dot. Love, period, you. 
So you can always, um, if you needed to, then you could also cut this off and mask it, but that looks good. Um, and then the last one, I have Hey Valentine. So we're going to use this. And these are the cling mount stamps. So these are super duper sticky. So let me clean this one off. Set that over here. It's a little big, but that's okay. And then I'm going to just do a couple of these. Hey, Valentine. Super easy with this cling mount stamp because you can see exactly where you're putting it. Doesn't fall off the block. I'll do one more. Cute. Adorably cute. Okay. So let me just, I think that's going to be good enough because even if I don't get sentiments on all of them, you guys get the drift. But we will put them all together. So let me clean these off just quickly. We don't have any accidents. You do want to make sure with these new uh, cling mount stamps, however, that you do take them off the block sooner than later because the longer you leave them on, they are a little harder to uh, pick up. <coughs> and you don't want to rip your stamp when you're taking them off. And I'm really happy to say I found my stamp that I lost. I don't think I said that on here. I was so happy today. I hung, got my uh, ribbon holders hung up. And my uh, missing stamp was actually in one of them. I was so excited when I saw them. You have no idea. So I'm going to just take some of these and trim them off. So the Hello Friend, I'm just going to keep this one just square. Just like that. Just going to trim it super close to the block. So it's like a block print. We're just going to keep that really close. Um, a few of these Hey Valentines, I want to let them dry. I miss you. We could flag this. And if you don't have a, uh, a, a way to flag your stamps, what you can do is just kind of do a little snip in the middle, just like that. And then you just cut to it from the corner, just like that. So then you have a little flagged piece. Um, same thing with this one. I'm going to flag the other end of this. Cut in the middle. Cut to the end. Cut to the end. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and just trim this off just a little because it's got a little weird lip on it. So there's I Miss You. We could do Hello Love. And I'm going to just give these a really shallow flag on both ends. So same thing. Just like that. Trim one more of these out. I'll keep this one a little wider spaced. There we go. I have another love you. Love is in the air. This one's kind of a little bit more scripty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this top straight. And the side kind of straight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow along with the letters on this one. So I'm going to give kind of a little curve to the L. And follow up. And then a little curve where the R is. Okay, so there's that. And I'm just going to cut out one of these hate valentines. Do two. Okay, so let's get these assembled. And I know sometimes these are, <coughs> excuse me, a little long-winded of videos with showing you all the little details. So I hope that you are still interested in watching it. Thank you if you are still here. And if you skip forward through some of the parts, no offense, I'm fine with it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and stick this guy straight onto here. And then the, probably the hardest part is just deciding what color you want to mount them on. Okay, so do you want to go with the same color? Do you want to go with a crumb cake? I think this looks cute on the crumb cake because of the having the uh, little piece. That is actually a soft sea foam. So I think with having the soft sea foam, I think it gives a nice contrast with the crumb cake. All you have to do is just fold that. Hit it with your bone folder. 
So there's one. And then I'm not going to do this one yet. I'm going to save that one for last. That goes over here. We have Love You. This looks really cute on here. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this. This is just a wide fold note card. So we call these hamburgers. And then the tall and skinny ones are hot dogs. So I'm going to put this in the center. Just like that. And you can kind of decide. You could put this in the middle too if you wanted to. But sometimes I think putting something like off to the side makes it look cute. Again, this is another one that has that little teeny piece of the uh, soft sea foam on it. That was the inside of this card. Okay. And let's see. We have this little guy. I'm going to get a couple of um, dimensionals out. Put him up on a dimensional. And for this one, I think I'm going to go with the pink. So we'll go with the flirty flamingo. Put some. And it also, you could use the other side too if you wanted to. It's not quite as Valentine y with just the flowers, but it is super cute. You could layer this with another piece behind it if you felt like it needed something else on there. But I think this is just cute like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this one, since he's a bird, this kind of works out well. Love is in the air. There you go. Cute. Sometimes I pull things out at the last minute. You just never know what you're going to get. Okay, we have our little, I don't even know, could I say, Peppy Le Pew? <laughs> Hopefully that's not a copyright infringement. I used to love watching that. That's what we need, one that's his. Oh, how did he used to speak in his little French accent? It's so cute. Put that right across the top there. Hey, Valentine. Easy. Again, a lot of these cards, too, you can kind of make them just so they're really simple. They don't have to be ultra complicated. This guy here. I'm just going to put him right in the center. I think I'm going to do it this way instead. And then he seems like he could use a nicer greeting. See, we could even layer this on top of something else down here. But I'm still going to just put it flat because I think it looks really cool that way. Well, I'll just pop him up on a dimensional. So we'll put this up top, put our sentiment underneath, really simple cards though. I mean this card just like that is very simple as well, but we'll add a little more pop. So this could go to anyone, maybe one of your friends you haven't seen in a while. Super adorable, there you go, little gorilla. McGill or Gorilla. If any of you watched him, him and uh, Grape Ape, they were a couple of my favorites. So this card, since this goes lengthwise, we would kind of put this to the side. So we could put him over here. <coughs> also, what we could do, we could swap out somebody else's set. So I'm going to keep him for a minute because that one, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with. This one was one of the other ones where I could have said, like, we could have stamped onto this but instead I'm just going to hook this right on here. I'm going to hook this one here like that and we'll put this one on and you can kind of play around with your, your placement if you don't exactly know what you want to do. This is one of the ones where we cut the center out of. Make sure we pop something up there. Really easy though. So just kind of fooling around with how we have the placement. Again, you could certainly mat these. I've done that before, but these are pretty <clears throat> either way. Honestly, they're pretty both ways. Just depends on if you have a lot of paper, maybe you want to go through. This guy. I kind of like to have the stuff. It seems to be that I like to have the stuff so it's like off center to the bottom. If you guys have noticed that. And what I will do is I will post full pictures of all these on the blog as well. So if you missed any, you can go back and see all the pictures of all of these. Yeah, I'm going to put this at the bottom. Another thing is too, don't forget we have those little epoxy um, hearts that you could add as well. Really cute, but simple, simple, simple cards. Uh, this one I'm going to pop up because I think he's just too cute for words. <clears throat> I 
and this guy, I'm going to add this one here somehow. I'm not quite sure how, but we're going to add him on. I'm going to put this one onto a piece of lipstick. Lovely lipstick here. I'm going to go crossways. Can't decide where I want him. With this one though, I had a little piece here, so I even have like a little piece where you could cut this. You could layer this on top. You could have like a double layer of the little flags too if you wanted something to stick out. But I'm gonna take a little piece of my edging here, just this little piece, and I want to pop this up. I just want to see where do I like it there Let's see if I, pull, if I do that there I might actually move this down there you go that's cute just like that all right just a couple more have our little bird here this guy would be another one where it would be cute you could stamp something on there if you wanted to <clears throat> He's just as equally as cute on their own. You could always even flag the sides of this if you wanted to add something else to it. This one needs something. I'm going to need a minute for this one because i got to figure something out for him. I think it's because of the rectangles. This little guy down here. my really tightly cut hello friend I'm just gonna pop that down at the bottom so there's that one all right so just a couple more still undecided what I want to do with this guy because this guy I think could use some black or something dark I think would look better especially because of the uh, color that I mirrored that with put this one like a little note card yep just like that there we go put this here this here and in the center kind of not pressing it yet just because I want to make sure I have them pieced how I originally saw them there you go just a little strip though I mean again you could back this if, if you wanted to with something absolutely that would look really cute too all right so I'm not sure I might actually swap this so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save him because he's giving me a hard time <clears throat> what I could do though in the meantime this one I could just add a little something I'm actually gonna add it to the top so I just have this little piece it just so happens to match so I'm gonna lay this up here just like that there's a little bit that's hanging you can always trim take this pop this down and guess what I cut one short so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the one and this one would be better actually if we would have done this one a different background color since this matches but it's okay we'll let that slide so this one here what i'm going to do is i'm going to just end up mounting this to that kind of just like that and i'm not sure that i cut enough sentiments this one i'm going to have to do with the love you so we're going to pretend this one and i'm going to cut it really close just to kind of keep that square shape oops well, I said I was going to cut it close, but I cut it crooked. So this one I'm going to end up mounting probably here and then maybe put the love you. But I, I undercut my paper by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this one. <coughs> and let's 
say. You could do even the same with this, just to break it up a little bit. You could put a white strip on each side. Let's just do that. We'll see what this last one looks like. I'm just gonna take this little strip, slide it in, just like that. I should have one more here that fits. If not, I can trim it up a little bit. Nope, that's perfect. So we just have this little white strip, kind of like a little border. Again, these are just with little pieces laying around. This one doesn't match exactly. I think it's too late to move it though. We'll offset it with this because this one has, as you can see, a little bit of adhesive, but this one has a little wider overhang. So what we'll do is we'll put this here and then you won't be able to see it. And that one is going to cut this out. So if you guys have any questions, all you have to do is send me an email at reachthestampergmail.com. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I'm able to, usually pretty quickly. And um, see, there goes my email. <laughs> and um, if you have any questions about measurements or any of the stuff that I use, please feel free to let me know. But I will put a full link with the, and I'm gonna put this up here just to kind of hide that little offset there. <coughs> Pardon me again in my cough. But I will load everything up so you guys can see it onto my blog. So that is reachthestamper.com. And I'm going to let you go before I have a coughing fit. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, guys. You'll be able to check all those out on there. Thanks for watching.